You know what you should do? You should follow me on Twitter at Bromo018. Link in the description. Do it now. What is going on, everyone? Welcome along to a brand new series, the beginning of which on FIFA 20. This is our AC Milan rebuild. So welcome along everybody, uh, this is the setup menu that we're on, I've got to say I'm really looking forward to this, I hope you guys are too, we announced this series a couple of weeks ago and uh, I'm really, just really uh, looking forward to getting it started really, um, already sorted out my manager and stuff, of course we will be with AC Milan um, and just before we talk about the, the job at hand and stuff, let me just quickly show you um, you know what we've got in terms of setup and that so we're going to disable international offers not really got any interest in this series anyway of uh, taking any international offers we're going to be playing the match difficulty on uh, ultimate and European competitions we will enable them but of course AC Milan were um, you know expelled from the Europa League for one season due to uh, financial fair play reasons so um, we won't be in that but I will enable them anyway um, and with that in mind I guess we're good to go. So, you know, sort of talking about uh, Milan and stuff, they're obviously going through a difficult period in the last um, few years or so, uh, most recently as well, spending me on their means, and as a result, financial fair play has caught up with them. And, you know, this season, they've toned it down a little bit, but they've still probably gone a, a little bit beyond what you'd expect. Uh, so... You know, we've got some things to deal with, really. When it, by realistic, of course, we're going to try and keep it um, as realistic po as possible in terms of transfers. We're obviously, we're going to think about the budget at hand and stuff. Um, you know, we're also going to look at the fact what they're trying to do. They want to bring, bring through youngsters from the academy. They want to breed them um, and they want to develop them as well and nurture them into first-team talent. So we will be focusing on that as well, um, you know, as making signings and stuff. So, in terms of the structure of the series, what we're going to do is um, we'll play games, of course, in episodes, but in between episodes, we'll play games as well, and then, well, I'll play the games, and then what will happen is I'll show you the highlights at the start of each episode of the games in between that one. So, that's really how it's going to go, so that way we can, of course, get more, um, you know, just content in and more episodes in. Uh, along the way so this is the squad that we've got to uh, work with at the moment and you know since Marco Giampaolo came in um, as manager this season this is the formation that they generally play it's a narrow 4-4-2 diamond um, and I personally don't like it um, I'm really not a fan of narrow formations in general but if you're going to have one it's got to be a, a free slash five back for me um, you know a four back is just um, there's just something about it I'm not a fan of. So we're going to slightly alter this formation and we'll work that out in pre-season. But in terms of the, the actual talent we've got to work with, listen, we've got a few players who, um, you know, we can really, really make the most of. They've, there's a couple of signs that aren't updated here, i.e. Andre Silva is still playing and uh, Rebic is not here. So, you know, we're going to look into that. Um, but elsewhere, there's a lot of good players here. Romagnoli, Calabria, of course, Donnarumma, all out of the academy. Uh, we've got Caldara on the bench, who I think we're going to definitely give uh, give the opportunity to partner Romagnoli. So, you know, there's a lot of talent here. Piotek as well is um, just scoring goals for fun since he's joined AC Milan. Um, so, yeah, there's, a, there's definitely talent there and there's something to work with. If we have a look at the sort of board objectives and, and things along those lines, let's see what they want us to achieve. So, of course, we've got that emphasis on youth development, um, brand exposure as well. Of course, AC Milan are a massive, massive club. Now, they want us to qualify for the Champions League, and that seems like a, you know, a fair target. Um, you know, the thing is, is it realistic? Are Milan ready to do that? I think, yeah, the, yeah, I think they are ready to do that. Um, but it's not going to be as easy as you know this sort of objective makes it sound. Elsewhere, reach the court final, keep salary growth under ten percent. That's fine. You know we've got to bear in mind the financial sort of restrictions they've got imposed on them as well. AC Milan. You know it's not going to be 
any easy feat to uh, to bear that in mind. So um, I'm going to have a mess around with the team and I'm going to update you on, on anything that comes along the way. Um, we've got to look into that Rebic situation as well. So uh, whilst I do that, I'll uh, go away and I'll be back with you shortly. So welcome back everyone, we're still on the first day. I just want to show you of messed about with the uh, formations, the team sheets and stuff. These are the two we've gone for. I've gone for two actually just to sort of work out, you know, which style we're going to go with. We've got the 4-4-2, bit of a throwback to the uh, Arrigo Saki days um, formation that I particularly like. I think that can be very varied um, and can give us plenty of options uh, in terms of our game style. And this one is a 4-3-3, more of a possession-based tactic, more of a front foot tactic as well so we're going to mix and match with these two see what we like best um and then you know we can go from there in terms of the training these are the players in currently training kessier piontek uh, caldara calabria and donnarumma um there's a few in there that you might be surprised aren't in there say paqueta uh, romagnoli etc the reason why i'm going for these a few of these are a bit older say like 24 um so like piontek uh, caldara 24 i want to you know, train them whilst they've still got the growth badge next to them um, before they, you know, get too old, basically. And then we can focus on the others who are more like 19, 20, etc. So we can get round to them. Oh, actually, I've just realised there's one thing uh, that I forgot to do, which I should have done uh, immediately as soon as we started the save. But never mind, we can get to it. Uh, add to transfer list. Right, okay, everything's in order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the pre-season now. Um, and then from there, if anything happens or if we get to the end of pre-season stuff, uh, I'll stop and I'll let you guys know. So I'll see you shortly. Right, so there we have it, guys. You saw in the press conference a little bit of a spoiler there. That's right, we have signed Ante Rebic from uh, Eintracht Frankfurt. Let me take you through the transfers as a whole for the club and uh, let me show you what's been happening. So first of all, sales. Um, Atalanta actually bid $8 million for Fabio Barini. So take the money and run. That's what I say. Get out of there. So somehow we've absolutely robbed them of eight million. Um, so uh, that's great going. Fabio Barini leaves. Um, as does Antonio Donnarumma as well. I just thought putting him up for sale. There's no point in having two, uh, three goalkeepers with a fourth out on loan in Pizzari. So um, we sell Donnarumma to FC Michelin. A couple of players going out on loan as well. Of course, we have uh, the big one, Ante Rebic, um, for Andre Silva plus 7.9 million. Uh, that was the best I could do. Andre Silva only valued at about 15 million on this game. So, um, yeah, listen, that's a great deal. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Rebic. Um, you know, I've known about him for a few years now. And um, I've got to say, I've been really impressed with him uh, for, for a long, long time. So, I think that's a really good signing for Milan. And obviously, with the squads not being a day, we do, of course, uh, bring him in. That was the, the transfer in real life as well. Um, so, yeah, that's what we've, what we've got at the moment. There's a couple more sales. Uh, going on um, so I'll, I'll update you with those if and when I can um, but at the moment it's uh, you know it's looking okay I'm looking forward to the season so we'll come on to the lineup now 
I'm going to actually alter it along with you. I'm going to make a couple of changes, of course. Rebic is one. We're actually going to play Rebic on the left, and he can play there. And the reason is, he's in this formation. I want him getting in behind and cutting inside onto his right foot uh, and being a goal for it. So I think that suits him well, with Piotek being the, um, the focal point of the attack in terms of a, a central striker. I think Rebic coming in on the left is really going to suit this system. Uh, and the same with Suso on the right as well, of course. He is left-footed. Uh, and he loves to get onto his left foot and and uh, you know make things happen. So I think this is going to be um, you know really interesting to see, um, really exciting to see what they can what they can produce uh, elsewhere. This is probably the lineup we are going to go with. Of course, as sort of subject to change throughout the season, I think we should find a space for Jack in this team somewhere, um, perhaps for Conti, who unfortunately doesn't quite fit into this system unless at right back. Um, but we do already have a fullback on the bench in Rodriguez. So, yeah, yeah, I'm liking the look of this team, I've got to say. Um, uh, today we've got Udinese. So, you know, I think it's a good time to test our sort of possession front foot based tactic. Uh, we're going with this 4 3 3 for now, and we'll see what it can, just what it can do. Um, in terms of the tactics, I guess I can show you quickly, as you can see, very pos possession based orientated, press after possession loss. Um, a high defensive line, etc. Uh, one player storming into the box, which you always love. In terms of the instructions, obviously we've got overlaps for the fullbacks. Um, one of them is a boxer box midfielder, which is Kessier, and then Paqueta is our more advanced number 10. Um, and then obviously the holding midfielder stays back. He'll um, you know, sort of be the anchor. And then you've got comeback on defence, cut inside, getting behind for both the wingers. They've got similar jobs and Piotek. Uh, we'll play the false nine role, but that could change the target man, seeing as how the system develops. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, and I'm looking forward to testing out this team and formation. One thing I've got to say before we do start, I do apologise. Um, I've accidentally set the currency to pounds. Well, I didn't actively set it. It was already set at pounds. I forgot to change it to euros. Um, so I do apologise for that. Unfortunately, no way I can change it now. So I hope um, you'll be able to get past that. But otherwise, um, you know, I think we're good to go. Morale's looking good. The press conference went well. Um, and as a result, I think we're ready to start today's game against Udinese as we kick off the Serie A season. Well, here he is, the debut boy. Certainly one of the most interesting features of the match we're about to bring you. And it's live. What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith providing the commentary for you today. And the Serie A season starts for both these teams in just a couple of moments. It is Udinese against Milan. Well, so much hope for both clubs before a ball has been kicked. Nobody's made a mistake yet. And as a player, you just want to get off to a good start. Hopefully a winning one. But when you're a forward and you come into a new club, you know from your own experience, Alan, you want to make a good start. Here's his chance. It's his start today. Yeah, a goal here would certainly help his cause. It would relax him. You don't want to go three, four, five games not having found the back of the net. This is the side that Udinese will feel today. Well, they do like to play on the counter-attack, this team. Looking at the lineup, Alan, do you think that's the way they're going to address the problems today? That is the way it looks at the moment. We'll find out soon enough, but they are perfectly set up for the counter. They've got lots of pace on the break. I think we'll see that today. Milan make one change. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the goalkeeper. Mattia Caldara plays alongside Alessio Romagnoli in the heart of defence. And just one up front for them today. Kick off then, really looking forward to this. Hopefully we can get off to winning ways. And in it goes. Paqueta controls. Over to Kessier, he's got a little bit of space to run into now. 
Need players to run forward and help him out. Kessier has to cut back. Got that run of Paqueta though. And the goalkeeper missing about there. And it's a hounder from the defender. Can Paqueta get onto it? Oh, no. Wow, what a chance that is. He's chipped and he's actually left a boot on the goalkeeper's face as a result. But the defender, just um, he's just in the way. There's not a lot he could have done about it. And Paqueta charging after it. He did press shoot, but he doesn't do it when he reaches it, unfortunately. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. But he's gone down. Oh, and it's deflected and in. Udinese take a shock lead 15 minutes in. And it takes a really harsh deflection. And Donnarumma just cannot react to it quick enough as a result. I've got to say, I don't cover myself in glory with that defending. But there you see, it's Roman Yoli, I think. No, it might be anyway. But I'd love to see who he goes off. Can't actually tell from that angle the flag keeps getting in the way. But it's a really harsh deflection. Not a lot you can do about it. And as a result, it just parries into the corner. And Udinese, who haven't really had much going for him in the first 15 minutes or so, will take the lead. Revic picks a ball. It's a good pass from Kessier. Going to look to cut onto his right here. There's not a lot of... Space, he'll go for goal. His keeper parries wide. And they get it away. Oh, he won the ball high at the pitch here. Suso, unfortunately, on his right foot. That's not as re encouraging. And as a result, goes wide. You want him on his left, really. That's where he's at his best. On his right. Just snatches at it a little bit. And the ball sails past the post. Nodded. Rebic now. He can drive down the left-hand side. Looking for a 1-2 with Piotek and he's got it as well. It's good play. And Rebic here, he's got an opportunity. He's going to go on his own. Oh, it's safe from the keeper. He chooses to go to his near post. And the keeper's got it covered there. Sort of wanted him to whip it round, but I suppose he couldn't quite get the body angle. It is a corner, though. We're well past stoppage time now. The ref has got to blow up for half-time, surely. He does. And it's, uh, performance-wise, actually, it's not disappointing because we're the much better team. It's just that we can't uh, take a chance. We haven't been clinical enough. And, um, you know, as a result, they've got a little bit of luck, but fair play. You know, they're, they're holding out Udinese, and they're currently winning. You know, we need to just up the intensity a little bit. I think we're giving the ball away cheaply in some areas. And, you know, as a result, the possession is more evenly split. Um, but there's got to be some improvement in the second half of Wise, so some subs will be made. Yeah, an important three points coming up for grabs. We've really tried to up the press intensity now. And you can see it here, but we are leaving gaps as a result. Good interception. He's got to unleash the pass quicker. Oh, it hits the post on the rebound. Oh, my word. That is a massive let off for us. I'm not sure how Udinese haven't doubled their lead there. That is a big, big let off. What a chance that was. In Serie A. Paqueta. Fonds Piotte. Got an on running Kessier. Oh, and it bounces for him. Kindly here. Bad defending. Kessier goes for goal. 1 1. Finally, a reply. And it's Frank Kessier with the goal. It's a, again, lucky. Some poor defending. But it's a great strike from him, nevertheless. And he does get the equaliser. It has been coming, to be fair. We have been the better team and we've had some good chances despite Udinese's um, sort of occasional flourish. But it's that man, Kessier, who's been getting around a pitch all day. He does it once again here. 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's good passing play. Romagnoli's there to get the block off. At least I think it was Romagnoli. Oh, it's a header. 2-1. Out of nowhere from the corner. And it's 2-1. The substitute comes on to give them the lead once again. And it's the marking. It just allows him to get ahead first. I want to have another look at this goal. I'm not sure who it was marking him, but they just don't compete enough in the air. There's two of them, actually. I think Theo Hernandez is one of them. 
And the other one might be Caldara, or is it Bilia? And he rises there first. It's 2-1. Now, that is very disappointing. We're going to make some substitutes, uh, substitutions even, as a result. Paqueta not being at the races today. Bonaventura can come on. Same with Piotek. Can bring on Liao. See what they can do. Hopefully get us back into the game. Two new faces about to be introduced here. From Kessier. Bonaventura still in forward. He's got Liao. Liao's going to look for the one-two. Bonaventura, this is great work. Bonaventura hits the post, goes in, hits both posts. What an introduction that is. Bonaventura with his first action of the game. And Liao's as well. Gets the assist. That is brilliant work. What a response that is. Jack Bonaventura. Really good strike and just unbelievable pace he shows there, actually. Just a skip pass of the defender. Brilliant work. Liao and Bonaventura. Both coming off the bench. Tactical mastermind. Fair play to their manager. 2-2. Extraordinary game here. Two very well matched teams, and they're trading goal for goal in the game. Home team. Revic cuts inside. Bonaventura. Oh, he's got some overlaps here. Can he get it to him? He can. Calabria. He's in now. He's going to go for goal himself. Should have cut that back. I should have cut that back. Just developed a little bit too late. Oh, there's just no movement. He's got an opportunity here. Oh, Romagnoli can't keep up with him. Romagnoli, no. What is happening there? He doesn't keep up with him. For some reason, he's just absolutely knackered. He's really slow, and the, the attacker can just jog past him. And Udinese may have just stolen the win right at the death. Look at this. He just strolls past him. I can't control them both at once. I'm controlling Caldara, trying to jockey the man. Roman yoli has got to keep up with him there. He's come off the bench to score two goals. That is poor defending. You have to just... You've got to go on till the end. You can't be getting blitzed by players, I'm afraid. That is really disappointing. Of all people, you would expect Romagnoli not to concede like that. Really disappointing. Suso to whip it in yet again. Caldara's there. Can Revic get on to the end of it? Yes, he can. Needs to whip it in. No, he doesn't get time in the end. Referee finally blows to full time and we've lost that game somehow. Poor pieces of defending in the end. And Udinese have come away with a win. Masana comes off the bench to score two goals. And that's it, really. The thing is, we were a much better team. We played quite well. But towards the end, last 10 minutes or so, stamina just drained. It just drained. Um, you know, and yes, I had team press on. But, you know, you've got to be able to go the full 90 minutes, I'm afraid. And, uh, you know, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. Encouraged with the performance for sure, and I think we can definitely build on this, and we'll come, we'll come strong. But you know, yeah, we've got to be disappointed with the uh, result overall. A little bit of luck on both sides, really. There is one of them. Takes affliction off his own player, um, and you know, just takes it the wrong way from Donnarumma. Really unlucky. And um, you know, it's just one of those games we've got to roll on with it. I'm afraid. Uh, and we'll do this post-match interview as well. Because why not? Um, but it's, um, you know, beer sweet, of course. The performance is good, but the result, not good enough. And uh, we've got to improve. We'll say the season is a marathon, not a sprint. Um, you know, that will boost morale up a little bit. Um, you know, and it's a, it's a good response actually. Revic has put in a good performance on his first match of Milan. Player, what did you make of such a strong debut? Um, you know, I think he can he can offer us more to be honest. And I don't think he played as well as you'd expect. But it's only his debut, and we'll um, you know we'll keep going with it. How satisfied are you with Piotek? Um, to be honest, I didn't think he played well. So none of these answers really actually work. I don't think he played very well at all. 
We'll just say that, but uh, that's a pretty terrible question. Of course, this system is clearly still very basic, and um, you know they've, they've got a lot of work to do on it before it becomes anything enjoyable at all. So um, yeah, that's that's the first game, and unfortunately, a disappointing result. But um, you know, if anyone who watched my Ajax career mode series last year, you'll know that we kept winning every game, and it, it did become boring. So you know, I love the challenge. I love that challenge. So. Um, Really excited for the season ahead, got to say. Next match against Brescia. Um, that's, of course, another game we've got to look to win. They've just come off a 3-1 free, free loss against Cagliari. So, it's going to be um, a good game, to say the least. And I hope you guys are going to join me for that. That will be the first episode um, finished, really. Um, it's a shame we couldn't start off the season with a win. But, you know, I'm still positive about the season ahead. And I hope you guys you know, are not going to be too demoralised with it. Um, you know... You won't come back. Please do come back uh, for the next episode and uh, for the episodes further on. But on that note, we are going to round it off there. If you made it through to the end and you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Let me know that you're enjoying it. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so that you get notifications every time I upload. I will really do appreciate that. On that note, we are going to round it off there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Come on.